Hey folks, welcome back. I think this is episode 10 of my Let's, Let's Play series of Dominion 6, playing as F at late age Firmini. Okay, I think we are pretty much done this turn, so let's roll the turn on. Uh, just a quick recap. We are heading down, can't continue our sort of westward expansion, west southwest expansion, and making preparations, I think, to take this throne. I think if we get this throne, this is going to increase our Dominion score, and you know we'll, we'll push our Dominion out a lot faster, and that will help us push it back against Jomon. Um, we've also, I don't know, like I think Midgard is going to be our best early target. Now, that said, are they a good, are they a good match for us, right? Well, they, what have they got? They are a human nation now, I believe. Yeah, they are humans. They're mostly humans. So they've kind of got the similar stats to us. They are not much better than us, you know, and these guys are big burly men and we're, we're women. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much the same. They, uh, they've got archers, they've got the herdmen. Good protection, look, they've got the chainmail hobbock. Um, we've got the herdmen here. Actually, their swords, their, their, um, their kind of sword and shield variant is not as good as ours, I don't think. They, I think they might have better protection. Yeah, they've got better protection, but they've got less uh, defense skill. Um, but yeah, pretty much otherwise very, very similar. Was it 12? 12 gold, excuse me. 12 gold, uh, 22 resources, and 14 recruitment points. 12, 24. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Yeah, so um, they're kind of like a little bit more heavy in the resources, and we've got less recruitment points and less gold. Uh, actually, these are less defense. I'm sorry, my bad. So these are defense skill 12. Uh, I'm I'm just being a bit crazy there, so yeah, they're actually better. These are slightly better, but they're more expensive. Slightly you know, one more resource point, but they got way more recruitment and they're a little bit more in gold. Uh, but that's not really what we're looking at. That, I mean, those are their main troops, right? But it really, it's the the uh, the vans that you got to be careful of. These guys are also glamoured like our troops, but these guys got a crazy chassis as well. Look, they got a defense skill nineteen. The horse has got defense seventeen. Uh, the 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 horse itself's not very well armored, but you got to hit it. Yeah, the horse is also glamoured. Yeah, these guys are kind of dangerous, and if it's got a bless, uh, we can't see the bless. Oh, we know the bless of Lemuria. What have they got? Solar weapons. That's a weird one for an undead nation. <laughs> Plus two defense skill, blur penetration bonus, combat farcaster. Not a bad bless. Arco's just got plus one. Oh, right. Okay, they don't have a bless. Interesting. Okay. I think we are about done. So let's hit the end turn. Yeah, so I think Midgard are going to be my first... Yeah, they're going to be my first target, likely. I think, at least on a strategic map level, they look like I want to take their territory and then gain control of all in the north. Let's have a look at the battle in Ablak here. Okay, we've got some heavy cav coming in. I wonder who they're going to hit. I reckon they're going to go straight into our swordswomen. Unless they go for the uh, the archers. No, 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 they're avoiding the archers, which is smart. Okay. And then... Uh... Oh, crossbows are coming in for our um, swordsmen. Okay, these heavy cav are going to do some damage on this front line until our, uh, until our main uh, sacred troops start coming in. Okay. Uh, Ilda is still blessing troops. Okay, she blessed herself last. Why is she blessing again? Did she miss those ones? Okay, now she's casting blur. Yeah, I should have scripted her probably. That's okay though. Okay, now we've got the Femini Swords when we're coming in. We fought off those heavy cav. And we're going to go and start attacking the crossbows. This is where crossbows are really dangerous, firing into close troops like this. Okay, yeah, we did lose a few there. But we're going to wreck these guys now. There we go. And the run. They've routed. Okay. So uh, we lost five Femini Swordsmen. Women. Not too bad. Construction of castle in Troll Canyons is complete. And uh, we've killed some troops in the... Uh, some, uh, we've killed some uh, rebellious people in the Grey Mountains. Okay, so we've got the highest level of uh, fort here now. I don't think we can go any higher than this one. No, we can. We can go to the Citadel. Okay. Uh, well, is that four levels you get here? No, I think that was... 
Wait a minute. Yeah, we can be upgrade this to it's a castle and we can upgrade to the citadel. Okay, that must have been the level two. Yeah, because I think this one will be upgrading to a castle next. Oh no, you got so sorry, so that is level three. There's four levels now um in the late age. And I think you can get actually you can get the you can get another level as well if you've got the right nation. I think Ulm might be one that has got the master architect's ability. Uh, so they can actually get an even better, you know, a much better one. All right, look, there is actually some territory to expand to in this direction. Let's grab this one here. Uh, we can't get across here anyway. Yeah, yeah, uh, because it's not cold enough. Uh, we need to get some more coal. Ah, this is a, look, we've got death here. We've got a death scale in this uh, place and it's unlucky. I think there must be, right, we uh, really, if we could get a death mage, which we don't have, but we, we'd want to search those, uh, the, the site search there. We might find, like, what we'll probably find here is, let's get her to, I'll get, I'll get her moving this way, actually, the, the one that comes out next and I'll move down to our black. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put up a fort here in the greater wild. Uh, she's going to start now. Um, we also probably want to put a lab up wherever we've got a temple. Labs won't be destroyed if they're taken by the enemy, but temples will. Because the AI, uh, well, sorry, rival rival pretenders do not tolerate your temples, right? So they will knock them down, but they will salvage. They won't destroy your labs. They they like keeping the labs. Okay, what are we going to get here? Um, What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven mages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we need more mages. So I think what we're going to do. It feels like a little bit of a waste to get these uh, the savants here. That said, I probably do need to get a bunch of the cheaper ones because we want some communion slaves. I think I want to be boosting. Uh, like the more path boosting we can get, the better. I think I pro like just to. If we've got one. I'm going to send my whole mage core, by the way, to do this battle, but I want, I'm going to probably send Anani, um, the law, the sage queen, because she's got the highest paths. And maybe like two of the mages. Maybe three. So like four of them, and then we probably want like four, five or six slaves. So let's get, I'm, I'm actually going to get some cheaper mages here. Let's get the Femini savants, providing they survive the uh, communion. <laughs> <laughs> they can they can be put to work doing research afterwards. Let's get these out, and we also want another couple of those. Um, what was I building? Yeah, okay. So one, two. Yeah, we want a front line of those things as well. Um, we'll just get some of these arches. Okay. Because continue exploring around Lemuria. Um, See what we can find in these deadlands. Uh, here's Falegra. If, if we're lucky, we might be able to get eyes on what they've got. Uh, this uh, Lemuria was a great sage. That was what their pretender is. Let's see if we can find Arco Scafali. It's probably going to be down here somewhere by the looks of it. I think we've probably expanded better than everyone else. I wouldn't be surprised since it's the AI. Okay, Sylvius here. Um, Hubbardton. Oh, okay. This is south of Jomon. We're just kind of moving around the areas we've been now. I'm just I probably what I want to probably do is keep this scout moving around in Joe Mon's lands just so we can keep tabs just in case they do decide to send out an army our way. I if they if they do stop putting armies on our borders like this, you want to see it because you you, you know you want to be able to make sure that you're not going to be caught out by it. Okay, we need some more knights to replace the knights here that Phoebe um has got, but we're going to get a palisade up there next turn, so we'll be able to start building some of those guys. Okay, uh, let's put a whole bunch of these troops into this fort here. Treasury's not that big. Let's. I don't think we need so quite so many troops on this line now. Just slow down the recruitment of those. We're building more of the Femini savants here, which is good. We're going to keep those guys rec uh, researching. We probably want to also get some more of these cloistered ladies. Uh, let's, we're going to keep moving these cloistered ladies that are being recruited in the first forest down there too. That guy's just preaching. Is it worth him preaching there? No, not really. So we'll get him preaching here. Wherever it is that we can get, we need him to preach just to keep our dominion up. 
actually i might keep, i think i'm going to keep him going there just in case they do start bringing our temple down he's only cheap okay she's uh, searching but she doesn't want to search have her going there let's have her going down there to our black uh we want her going this direction to white uh to witch haven i'm going to put up a fort there uh, sorry I'm going to put up a temple there another temple here <clears throat> Uh, she's gonna preach no she, yeah she's gonna preach maybe we put up a we put up a lab here okay we've not quite got enough money for a lab we want the lab up this turn though definitely so i'm gonna i'm just gonna cut back on some of the recruitment in some of these places i really want a lab this turn so the reason why we want the lab is because we will immediately be able to start building mages here in the Towers of Heaven. Okay. Let's get her out to Bitra and we'll put up a uh, temple here. <clears throat> I'm going to put up some more province defense here just in case. Uh, yeah, I, I want more province defense anywhere we've got a temple that's kind of on their borders. Okay, Hatha here is going to search for magic sites. Uh, she's going to search for magic sites and then we're going to move her to Grey Mountains. And we'll be able to start putting up some... Uh, ah, we also need a priest that way, don't we? While we've got the opportunity to move across the uh, the water, we'll do that. Across the river. Uh, we've got a scout. We'll send this scout out. Yeah, we'll send the scout out to Jomon. We do also want to upgrade this uh, this palisade here as soon, as soon as possible. But I do want to keep building some troops up. There we go. All right, so they will. If if we do get attacked, they will head in with the with the province defense troops. Okay, that guy's going to wait here, Dragol. Uh, we're not going to upgrade this one yet. We probably haven't got the. Ah, let's move him. Yeah, he was he was actually recruiting crossbows, weren't they? He came from there. Let's send him back. Crossbows aren't a bad, aren't a terrible idea, to be honest. <clears throat> Let's see what this turn brings. Uh, research and evocation is complete. Okay, so um, yeah, I need to. I need to. I keep putting stuff in. Nothing in the research queue. That doesn't. It's not the end of the world because I really do want conjuration five anyway for um, fire elementals. But uh, there might be stuff that we want before that. Enchantment five was a research target, if I remember right. What do we got here? No. Oh yes, that's right. We've got flaming arrows. Uh, I would like to take flaming arrows. Alteration's got a bunch of stuff that we could probably want to go for eventually as well. Uh, which one is... It's Evocation for Frozen Heart. Where is Frozen Heart now? Alteration? Yeah, oh, it's... Wow. Was it always level 6? This is a good spell. Um, this is basically... This, is kill, this basically kills someone. Um, it does 10 armor negating... It doesn't kill them, but human-sized troops, this will kill. Uh, 10 armor gating cold damage. So this makes all of your um, water one mages actually quite dangerous. They, uh, you know, and it's a, a range of 25. Nice little spell, that. Uh, Thaumatogy. This is another one that we want. Uh, Sailor's Death and Instant Kill. Um, teleport Gems. Ooh, this is a new one. This ritual can be used by an astral mage to teleport all these magic gems to a commander in a province far away. Maximum of 10 gems can be transported, and blood slaves are not affected. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, look is a good spell. Despair is probably good. Okay, that casts Frighten. Ah, okay. Visions of Death. Okay, this is like an instant death spell. It's kind of like a high-level uh, false damage spell. Yeah, wow. Glamour's got some really, really good stuff in it. It really has. I think we want to go to Enchantment 5 just because I really want um, Flaming Arrows. We'll we'll get that first. Then we'll go for the Fire. Uh, we'll go for the Elementals. We don't have a whole lot of gems. We want to be spending these gems too, by the way. Let's see if there's any items we can get yet. Yeah, not a whole lot, is there? 
This is not a bad item. The Gossamer Gown, plus two hit points in awe. That would be good for our um, unseen ones. So... Yeah, you only need Glamour 1 to, uh, to make that as well. So she could make it, for example. Let's grab one of those. We can put it on one of our unseen ones when we get it. Uh, what else do we want here? <clears throat> yeah, we want to keep getting out the uh, the f f uh, Femini Savants here for a little while. Uh, again, we're getting the Savants here too. Now you're going to see me, you know, getting more of the cheaper mages, to be honest, because now's a good time. Um, I'm going to switch out from these guys now. We don't need these anymore. Uh, let's start rec uh, recruiting the, the knights. And we'll get some of these lady... Uh, we'll get these ones. We'll just get the cheaper ones. Okay. That's all the commander points we can put up there. Let's look, Let's just check out the baths, by the way. I completely forgot about that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, there's a battle in Gentle Woods. This was Arco Scafali against Lemuria. Okay, what's Arco got here? They got the Agamemnon Agama companion. Oh, this is a this is a heavy cav. So they're sending a bunch of heavy cav in. Easy pickings these are. Look, now we've got a Lemurian mage, the Limo acolyte. These are a ghost, but he's run. Look, they're gonna kill him eventually. Oh no, he got away. He got away. Okay. There's a battle in the Vath. All right. Lots of heavy cav. Looks like our um, Femini swordsmen are going to take some of these. Yeah, we actually we actually got hit here as well. Look. Oh, look at her. She's diseased. Yeah, so we I think we got a bunch of disease from that uh, province last turn as well, that death province. I'm pretty sure that's a death province. There's probably a nice death site there, uh, but we won't be able to get it because... We are unlikely to be able to... Uh, we haven't got any death magic. Is this horse fighting on? It is. Okay, no, they were just, the horses are just trying to run away, look. They're just trying to run off the battlefield. Okay. Lost quite a lot of troops here. Oh, this is the... Uh, the sorry, these are the, um, the heavy cav uh, horses. Look at those crossbows from close range, like doing quite a lot of damage. We're just not clo quite closing there. Okay, now they've gone. Uh, let's just see what happened here. We lost three Feminiartis, 15 Swordswomen, and one Veiled One. Yeah, they, they, that's not bad, though. They had a lot of heavy cav there, and quite a lot of crossbows as well. So, I'm not, I'm not going to cry about that. That's not ideal, but it's not, not awful. All deposits have been found, and a boost in army production is expected. Excellent. That's in Chilad. Uh, we've constructed the Palisades in the Tower of Heaven. And we've killed some brigands. Okay, so yeah, here we go. So this was what we started doing here. Started to put some troops up. Uh, Grey Mountains. Let's get these uh, these two troops down here. Sorry, these two down here. If I might have Hatha go to the Wood Forest and just search there. Have we got any nature gems yet? No, we haven't found any nature sites. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. She's going to put up a fortress. Yeah, look, we, we are going to have to expand soon. I think we're, we, our troop, we, our troop sizes. Let's just look what, we can't, what we're spending the money from. I wonder if you can sort this. No, you can't. Okay, so, yeah, Femini sorceresses are going to be our most expensive thing that we're spending the money on. Look, six Femini sorceresses. sorceresses. Uh, next is the, the seven savants we've got. Yeah, I mean, it's really mages that are costing us the money. Oh, we've got quite a lot of veiled ones as well. Mind you, we've got 74 of those. They're not exp they're not that expensive. They're actually, because they're sacred, they, uh, they're cheap. Um, do we move down into Aman Forest? No, we can't move there this turn. Yeah, we can't go anywhere here. Uh, here in Vath. So let's put up some uh, province defense. She's going to put up a, a temple. I'm going to get... Oh, no. We've already got a temple up there. She needs to move down into Bitra. She's going to put up a temple. Over here in the Greater Wild on the west. Um, now, she is going to move into... 
probably will send a. We probably want to put a. Yeah, this is. We want to put a, a temple up here. Sorry, let's get a commander here, and then we, we're actually going to build a. I'm going to build a fort here as well on the Greater Wild. This is a really, really nice province. Mind you, that one's also good luck. Yeah, maybe here is better actually. No, that's it. You know, because yeah, that's right. Because no, we're building one here, aren't we? In Mountains of Madness, that was the plan. That's got really good resources. So one here, one here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way to do it. Um, so she, can we actually get a Palisades up? No, we haven't got the money for it this turn. Okay. Uh, what were we building? Yeah, it was the it was the Lady at Arms. So let's get some Lady at Arms up here. I want a front line of these guys. These these should hold the line, especially if they're a, bit, a little bit buffed up. I'm going to figure out some spells that we can use to uh, we can cast. Probably another few turns, and then we'll we'll start thinking about taking this this for, uh, this throne here. What is our Dominion candles? We've got seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, we can get right. So she can actually come back here and start, start preaching. We'll get her down to uh, Troll Canyons, I think. I think I'll move her this way because we're in late winter. The these, the the, the frozen rivers might melt next year. Let's get her down here too. Okay, oh, there's the underground as well. Look, so we've got another cave entrance. Probably should go and check out where this, what, what's going on around this temp, uh, this throne of uh, ascension. Okay, a huge cyclope smith was seen towering over the army. Okay, so they've got a smith. Maybe they. Oh, I don't see a pretender god. We're going to have a look at what's here in Oak Beach. <clears throat> Continue moving down. See if we can find Arco Scovale itself. And just moving around in the back lines. Yeah, Jomon's pretty big, actually. Jomon's pretty big. You can just stay here. We're going to put her on a hide and wait. Um, let's get these guys patrolling a turn. Just uh, help to bring this province, yeah, uh, to, to bring the unrest here down. This is not a bad little income. And she wants to put a temple up. Okay, oh, we can't do that this turn. Let's just get her on preaching then. Even though she, we've already passed the uh, temple checks that she can get. In fact, let's get her in here. I want her researching now, I think. I don't think preaching is going to do any good for a level one priest. So get those two researching. Really start to make use of this research ability we've got. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Uh, we're going to bring her out. I'm going to get her um, in this, looking at this province here. Looks like Midgard are going to attack us. I know this because, I mean, they they haven't got anywhere to go. They've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. I think that was Midgard down there, wasn't it? So they haven't got many, they've got not, not many provinces at all. I think we must expect an attack here. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to ex we need to expect an attack here. Now we have got enough troops. We've got some troops in the garrison. We need to get some more. Ah, uh, she needs to go on research. She wants to go on research. Uh, she's just going to stay there for the until the next turn, and then we'll put up a temple. This guy's just going to wait. Uh, I think we need to upgrade this. Uh, we need to. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade this next turn. Uh, Kersey is going to be preaching teachings of God. Let's get her to continue her to continue preaching. Yeah, we're getting an abbess up next. Okay, yeah, she's just staying there. I think I think that's it, guys. All right. Just in the last stages of uh, preparing, I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if we got attacked before we're ready. Okay, Hope Void de Lamor Th Thaumaturge has claimed the throne of chains in the name of Talor, open of the ways, 
God of the Wild Cows. An unexpected event has occurred in the Mountains of Madness. Oh, we got six, uh, nine astral pearls. That's a nice little haul. A worldwide event has occurred. Conjuration rituals are cheaper this month. Okay, that's cool. So we could potentially start spending some of the gems that we've got building up. Uh, we've killed a whole bunch of brigands. This seems to be a lot faster now, by the way. Patrolling seems to kill stuff, like, really quick. And, um, yeah, we've killed more in the other province, too. All right. Yeah, look, so we've got plenty of research going on. 370 per turn. That's quite a lot, I think, for tw turn 24. But basically, we've had two years of the game now. And... <clears throat> ah, look at this. This Firmini sorceress we've got, she's actually started to get old age issues already, look. She was 48 and she's got disease, so she's going to die. Um, That's a shame. Maybe what we do is we accelerate trying to... I mean, we'll send her in, I think. Yeah, she's probably going to die soon. That's one of the problems with old age troops. They will, you know, occasionally you'll get one that is quite old, like she's old as well, look. So they will start to get diseases in the winter. So she, she, she got disease this winter. She's going to die. So there you go. Life is short and brutal in the world of Dominions, I'm afraid. Uh, let's continue on with what's going on. Uh, yeah, so we've, we've looked at all the messages. Let's see how many troops we've got here. Okay, we've got a decent front line. Let's get, let's start looking at how this battle is going to go, like what it's going to look like. Uh, Ana Anani here is our Sage Queen. So I think our battle line is going to look something like this. We're going to need way more of these on the front line, though. Um, I'm going to want... Yeah, they're, they're really good. These are good troops, but they're, we're going to need more of them. We're also going to need some knights. The knights who, whose order is to go... They're going to hold an attack rear, and they're going to try and kill the kill the sorceress commander now. It's going to, not, it's going to be easier said than done. Um, one... How many of these have we got? One, two, three... We might want her, because she's a nature mage, we might want her in the commun as a communion master so we can boost her paths. So we've got one, two, three. That's just assuming we're going to be using the Femini Savants as the communion slaves. You can use these as slaves too. Kind of a bit of a waste. Um, that, that said, the higher the paths that the slaves have got, the less um, fatigue they take that filters down from the communion masters. So they take, you know, they, they'll, they'll take less fatigue basically. So it's not a terrible idea to have the bigger troops as the slaves. The only, it, it's just, it's kind of complicated. Communions are complicated. You've got to really think about them. Um, you don't, like, just to have fun with them in single play, you don't really. But still. Have we got eight Dominion Candles yet? Yes, we have. Okay. So we've actually got, yeah, we've got 11 Temples now. We've actually got eight Dominion Strength. Our Dominion is really, really strong. So we want to continue on that kind of vibe. Uh, when we hit a war, by the way, we will we will actually start losing them. So we've got to be just be a, got to be a little bit aware of that. You will start losing temples because the enemy will come in, and if they're not adequately protected, they you will lose them. They'll be knocked down. Uh, we've got plenty of troops here, but I'm reluctant to keep take these troops away from here because I. Um, Midgard look like they're probably on defensive, I'm thinking. But we've probably got about another six, seven turns before the defensive nations start want, start picking their first wars, okay? So, okay, let's get a lab here. Ah, we don't have much money, do we? Get her researching. Uh, in fact, no, we'll get you preaching. Get you researching. Uh, okay, we've got a few too many of these. We need to get our Dominion Candles up first. Okay, have her just actually. We'll get her putting up a. Uh, we'll get her putting up a temple here in uh, Dershid. By the way, uh, one thing I should be doing is turning on. Go to preferences, and we want to turn on the candles. How do we do that again? Our map filters. There we are. So we want to turn on the Dominion candles. There we are. So we'll see the Dominion candles now in all of our provinces. So. Really, what we could do is if we had like loads and loads of money, uh, we could put up, we could put, if we were playing like really slow and carefully, we could put up um, labs in all of these areas where we've got uh, temples and then we could start researching and we could build loads of these guys, loads of these, these low level priests who can research and then all of a sudden you've got tons of research going up, right? Um, 
let's just see what we got here. Yeah, we've got probably more priests than we need now, so I'm going to stop the recruitment of the uh, of the priests just for the time being. Get her preaching. She can't preach here. We'll br uh, bring her here, look. She wants to be able to build a temple. We also need to upgrade this. Uh, maybe that's more important than getting another temple up, actually. Let's just get her defending again. Um, we also need some mages on this front line. See, now you'll see here now we're starting to kind of run, run a little bit low on money. Oh, why am I recruiting, re repeating the recruitment of those... I don't want to do that. That's not a good idea. Get her preaching up. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be an important place to upgrade. So let's just get rid of those. And we're going to upgrade the size of this. We're going to upgrade this to a fortress. That will give us more money as well. Our money is increasing because even though we're not getting too much more land now. Um, ah, now, this one. These guys are still stuck here, look. I feel like I've not probably got enough troops to be able to effectively fight Jomon. They're quite big, look. Like we could take a lot of territory off of them, but then we're going to be stuck in a war with them, which I don't really want. Okay, I was just having a bit of a think. I didn't want you to have to wait around like while I was thinking what I was going to do. And I've just gone through and while I was doing that, I was just removing all the priests that I was creating, the extra abbesses. Oh, sorry, these um, cloistered ladies. I don't need too many of these. Um, so what I'm going to do, we are going to try to increase our candles here. Um, I think we need, let's get, uh, what have we got here? Yeah, we definitely want to keep building the Femini Savants or recruiting the Femini Savants. Getting more troops up here in Femini. Um, I want to take this province fairly soon. We are going to lose this law mistress, Femini Sorceress. But we're going to need a lot of troops in order to do this uh, this particular battle here. So that's kind of annoying. So what I've decided is these guys, Midgard are going to be my first target. Uh, we're going to try and keep some troops on the border here. But we need to. we do need to start taking, you know... I think these guys are going to start moving over to this border here, up to Midgard, uh, up to Troll Canyons, and we're going to—we're actually going to attack from the Troll Canyons simultaneously. I think I should be able to take this uh, this province too. I don't reckon we're going to need a whole lot of stuff here. Uh, we're going to need a few more sorceresses on this border, I'd say. Um, we're going to need to preach our dominion up a little bit. Now we can get our dominion quite high if we bring our. If we bring Kersey over here, she's actually got a fair, a fair troop as well, a fair amount of troops as well. Um, well, we've got access to them at least. Yeah, she's not a commander though, so that's a poor. That was a poor idea. We'll take Phoebe with her. Uh, Phoebe's actually regenerated some of the, uh, the these troops that she's got. Yeah, I think we'll keep her with those. Now, do I want to take all of these troops? Probably not, because I don't want Jomon to see us weak. That said, we have got a fair amount of province defense here, and we are going to continue to build troops out. Uh, we want another Femini Savant there too. <clears throat> so we really, really need to be keeping building... Um, our mages up, but yeah, I think this is going to be our first mission. So let's go. Let's go and take these guys over to Troll Canyon. We want to attack in the summer. I think this is probably going to be our best time, so we're going to not get so much of this cold penalty. Hopefully, um, but yeah, we've ah, we've got quite a lot of troops here. Look too. Let's keep those here at Grey Mountains for the time being. We don't need to telegraph our moves. The AI will see if we're starting to build up troops on their borders. Okay. Yeah, we are. We do need more territory now because we're starting to run a little bit low on money. Um, now we are. We're still. We are building up infrastructure. That's part of the reason why you know it's. It's. We are spending so much money. Uh, we're also building quite a lot of mages too. Let's 
get these Femini Savants still coming out. Uh, yeah, shame she's going to die. She's going to die over the next few turns, so that's a shame. Um, what I could do is... No, I think I'll, I'll just get the research out. For 21 research points per turn is pretty impressive. She's getting 23. Um, but she's a way more efficient uh, researcher, by the way. 23 for one, uh, 218. Is that 21 for 252? All right, I think we're done. We're about done. Oh, look at this 790 men, mainly deers, boars, vine men, heavy infantry, and cavalry. Okay, uh, okay, we don't need to go see what's in Grainport. We'll keep heading this way. Where's oh, there's Arcus Scafali. Okay, so they're on the, on the coastland there. Uh, Erectus has found it on the same turn. Look, let's start bringing this guy back. Um, we'll have a look at what's in this throne. This looks like the extent of Jomon's territory. Jomon's going to be a bit... Uh, that's going to be a cool cool war, that is. I think we'll go for Midgard first. I don't think we'll need... A, well, like, I think one big army and then and then one like one raiding group. That, or one or two raiding groups. That's pretty much going to be it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll grab all these troops. We're going to have Flaming Arrows pretty soon. Uh, construction four. Let's go for construction five, so we can get the uh, better arm, uh, the, the greater magic items. Then we can start making some lightless lamps. I think for the extra research, if we need it. I've yeah, like I said, I've actually stopped building all these uh, these uh, these uh, cloistered ladies for the time being, just to save money. We are going to be increasing our dominion though. Let's get her over here too. Okay, good to go. Oh gosh, 37 minutes, guys. So I'm actually going to end the episode here. And we will read the... We'll go through all this in the next turn to see what happened. Okay, guys, I will catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, remember, it helps the algorithm. And uh, I, I do read them as well. I always like, you know, seeing your comments. If you've got any questions about the game, um, you know, if you've got any sort of comments about the Let's Play, how I'm, how I'm doing it or whatever, please let me know. All right, guys, catch you next time. Take care.